Dr. Pratha Mukhopadhyay sir has joined. This and, meeting is being recorded. And before inviting to deliver his lecture, I would like to give a brief introduction about our guest speaker. Sir has retired from ICR Services in 2013, where he worked as a principal scientist at Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture, Bhuneshwar. He worked with FAO as an aquaculture consultant and in 2016. and was appointed as a professor and mentor at the Nyota University Diamond Harbor where he was attached for little more than a year during 2018-19 sir holds a phd degree in biochemistry from the university of calcutta and was a post doctoral fellow at the university of stirling united kingdom in 1992 and was a visiting scientist at inra saint p sur nevel france in 2000 he was giving his services as a guest faculty at geology department university college of science calcutta and recently completed a project as principal investigator of a dst funded project related to science of equity empowerment and development in association with the kolkata based ngo cempd presently sir is having keen interest for the research in the area of by resources the context of rural development and publication several book chapters and various books and uh, has also guided 11 research student for his phd work and uh, sir was also awarded at national and international level national by the icr and in state level by uh, dst west bengal currently sir is an expert member of east kolkata wetland authority government of west bengal a guest faculty of vidyasagar university and uh, this is the all about the our first eminent speaker so i would like to invite you sir please uh, go ahead over to you sir thank you thank you very much dr tejesh uh uh and good you good afternoon to to all the dear participants uh today i will be i'm glad that uh, this uh, very important day today uh, the day of uh, buddha jayanti so on this auspicious day uh, i i extend my good wishes and uh, regards to and uh, with this uh, let me start by today's lecture so my my lecture my talk is today uh my talk is today on on a subject uh, uh called aquaponics now aquaponics uh, i do not know how many of you are aware of this term aquaponics is in fact a, a am i audible yes sir you are I audible, like to share. You, are audible. Yeah. you can I open like to your share. powerpoint uh i i can i can open my powerpoint now yes sir you can directly open your ppt is it your desktop is visible to us uh can can you can you see my ppt yes sir yes sir you can move your cursor yes your file is opening yes it is visible okay, okay. see um, uh, the topic is aquaponics a uh, research recirculatory plant and fish production system see aquaponics is actually a, a combined term of uh, aquaculture and hydroponics aquaculture and hydroponics one is a fish production system and hydroponics is the plant production system without soil so these two Uh, have been combined uh, in this system this is a rather unique one wherein fish and uh, plants could grow together very well now before i really uh, let you know what this system is uh, i have to tell you something about the uh, water fresh water availability available condition in our country now the fresh water availability per capita 
is actually reducing very drastically. While it was 1840 cubic meter per person per year, it is expected to be 1400 only by 2025. And again, it will drastically be reduced in 2050. This is, the, this is a forecast by the Central Water Commission Authority of India. Now, freshwater availability is in fact is very, very serious, very serious, very important also. So many people of our country are deprived of the freshwater availability. And if you look into the statistics, you'll find that percent of our urban and 40% of the rural population has access to only safe drinking water, which means fresh water is uh, becoming a scarce resource uh, uh, in our country. Now, the pattern of the fresh water use in India is a little bit different from the rest of the world. Now, in India, the almost 90% uh, of the uh, groundwater fresh water is used for agriculture purposes, for irrigation, uh, for irrigating the agricultural fields. The out of the rest portion, the domestic consumption is again three, three percent. Three. In industry, it is about four percent. In thermal power, it is little less than one percent. And for other purposes, it is about eight percent. Just imagine we are utilizing 86% uh, of the of our ground groundwater reserve uh, for agriculture, for food production purposes. This is in fact very alarming. And worldwide, only 40% of the food comes from the irrigated crop. But in our country, the 85% of the currently exploited groundwater is, on, is used for irrigation. Now, this is really a, a very alarming because this, we, are, we are not able to replenish the a, groundwater reserve to the extent in which we are withdrawing it. Now, this uh, pattern of water use again is increasing. Yeah, if you look at, if you see the uh, how the surface water, groundwater are utilized for irrigation, domestic, industry, and thermal power, you can find it is uh, it is all on the increase. So, per capita availability is since it, the use is increasing. Now, the two things are then very important. We have to we have to reuse or recycle the water, fresh water, uh, number one, and at the same time we have to continue our food production system. Now, one such uh, system is aquaponics, where the integration of aquaculture and the uh, plant uh, or the crop production grows in a in a very um, uh, in a very uh, helpful manner, in a symbiotic manner. So fish and plant are are uh, able to grow symbiotically in aquaponics. Now, uh, what then uh, aquaponics is? Now, in this aquaponics system has a two units. In one unit, fish is reared in a tank. So. This, and in the other unit, the, there will be plants. There will be plants, but there will be no soil. Oh, now, fish is reared in, the, in a tank, and water from the fish tank is just pumped out to the, uh, the other tank where the plants are, uh, are kept. In fact, the fish you know, are ammonotelic, ammonotelic in nature com in, com in comparison to many other animals. For example, we humans are uh, ureotelic, but uh, fish uh, has an advantage, they are ammonotelic. Now, this fish uh, for water, uh, for water is not only the culture medium for uh, fish, 
water is also the receptacle of the waste of waste emanated from the fish now the major waste emanated from fish in the water where the fish lives is ammonia now uh, ammonia the moment ammonia is released the uh, nitrosomonas bacteria or nitrifying bacteria convert ammonia to nitrite and this is uh, then converted into nitrate now this nitrate is non toxic ammonia is highly toxic nitrite is relatively toxic so the bacteria makes the uh, aquatic environment uh, stress free by converting into nitrate but fish is not able to utilize nitrate anymore now these nitrate rich water is pumped out into the uh, system where the plants are uh, reared now the plants absorb the nutrients the nitrite and the water naturally gets filtered and then afterwards it is again returned back to the in a fish tank so this way when water comes back to the fish tank it it becomes relatively clean now if you look at this uh, chart see fish uh, releases ammonia bacteria convert convert its into nitrite nit initially then it is nitrate and plants absorb the nitrate and this way the cycle moves so aquaponics Hello. This meeting is being recorded. Sir, you can start now. Uh, so slide. Can you show me the slides? Okay. Sir, slides are visible, sir. Okay, slides are visible. Can you can you can you go to the next slide, please? Can you skip these slides? Yes, sir. Yeah. Please, please skip. uh please please keep please keep come to the slide where a person is standing in the field yeah yeah see uh, before uh, the aquaponics came into existence we we had such a system of utilizing the fertile water for the production of plants here you can see in deep water paddy fields in rice fields uh, fish used to grow uh, and uh, rice also used to grow so this is again a past system in the next one uh, in a similar manner uh, in a similar manner you can see the um, um, uh, the uh, di different aquatic plants used to grow in water now uh, now uh, in this system we we, we are selecting uh, only uh, few plants like you know uh, some uh, some uh, leafy vegetables some leafy vegetables and uh, plants like this that i have been showing these coriander leaves then uh, um, palak 
then uh, this Kule Khara, there are several uh, plants, uh, aquatic plants, which uh, these uh, water spinach uh, and um, several other water lily, lotus, makana, those were uh, those uh, could be could be utilized in this kind of uh, system. And uh, in case of fish, in case of fish, you can see. Come on to the next slide of our fish. There, there are several uh, small uh, fishes, as I have indicated here. Uh, the next one, please, please go on. Uh, yeah, next one. Uh, uh, still, next one. Yeah, this, this, yes. These are the uh, uh, many fish species which can be utilized in in the uh, in the aquaponic system. But we have seen uh, this uh, tilapia, uh, the improved version of tilapia uh, works uh, very good, works the best. They, it works best because it, it, it has a very uh, um, little requirement for oxygen. It eats almost everything. Uh, uh, next one, no, please take it to the next one, the tilapia, next, next fish, yeah. Now this fish is very, uh, very, very versatile. This versatile means you know, it eats almost everything, all all vegetable materials. It eats all plant related, plant derived substances. It can eat. It can uh, uh, it can tolerate um, uh, a little high temperature also, uh, a little more salinity also, and requirement of oxygen is again very very less compared to many other fishes. But there are many other fish species also, like you can say kawaii or anabas. Next one, next one you can see. So uh, yeah, these carps, uh, um, these are all, this can also be uh, grown here. Uh, now, uh, when fish and uh, plants are kept together, that can also serve the purpose. But we want, we don't want to mix the fish and the vegetables together, so we keep it in a different, different way, in different, uh, different, uh, I mean, uh, system. And uh, why, when we maintain the fish, we have to feed the fishes. We have to feed the fishes with microalgae. We have to feed the fishes with roti furs, and even the, some industrially manufactured feed also that you can see. Please, uh, uh, yeah. Please show the slide of the feed. Uh, next one. You can see we we uh, next one please. Uh, Rotifa. Then next one. Yeah, these are the industrially manufactured feed that we have to we have to feed the fishes also. Next one. Now, when we feed the fishes, these are some of the, some other fish species that can also be included. These are catfishes. Next one, these catfishes can be included also, but whatever it is. Now, these uh, all these fishes produce ammonia, and when the temperature rises, the ammonia liberation rate also increases, which means the water becomes more toxic with increase in in temperature. Uh, with more increase in temperature, ammonia becomes toxic. So activity of bacterial action has to be very fast. So next one you can see uh, in the next, uh, now we have to measure the ammonia sometimes in water if it goes beyond the a critical limit. Uh, sometimes we have to take a note of the dissolved oxygen. Next one, please. Next one, as a dissolved oxygen with the, uh, the pH here. So dissolved oxygen, pH, everything will have to be measured to take note that the fishes can sustain uh, very well. The next slide, please. Now, Uh, you can see the system is demonstrated here like this. 
Now ammonia is um, uh, uh, ammonia is converted to nitrite slowly by the microbial microbes action, and uh, um, uh, it is being ut uh, utilized by the plants. Now, and, and next slide, please. Can you go to the next slide? Yeah, and, and the next one. Now, whatever it is, which means uh, when the fish is reared, uh, when the fish is reared, the nitrogen uh, in the form of nitrate is available in plenty. For plants, three major nutrients are needed, you know, N, P, and K. So nitrogen comes from the nitrate that is uh, naturally produced in the pond, yeah, in the tank, tank or the aquarium, whatever you, you say. Now, one interesting fact is most of the, almost I should say more, not most, almost the entire phosphorus content of the plants is in the form of phytate. And fish cannot digest the phytate phosphorus because fish has no phytase in its intestinal system. Now, since phytase enzyme is absent in fishes, so phosphorus is as such excreted out. Now, phosphorus is excreted out means in the water then, phosphate is entirely available from the feed that is provided. So N and P are available in water. And now there is no deficiency of potassium because potassium is available in plenty in water. And fish generally do not need potassium much. So uh, entire nutrients means N, P, and K are easily available in the fish tank. Uh, as I said that phytase, the next slide please. The phytase is actually uh, unless it is uh, deactivated by uh, the phytate, unless it is deactivated, it cannot uh, uh, digest um, uh, phosphorus. So phosphorus is entirely uh, excreted. Next, next one, please. Now, based on this, uh, uh, the several uh, several institutions have been utilizing aquaponics for the production of fish and various plants. In uh, the next, next uh, slide, please. The next one. Next one you can, uh, yeah, you can see here that you know, um, uh, in, this is the West Bengal University of Animal and Fish Sciences, a state uh, government, state level university, where you can see tilapia farming in aquaponic system is done for the biocontrol of mosquito and several uh, uh, other purposes, including the production of uh, several plants. So this is shown here, and this has been uh, uh, generally popularized. Now, next one, please. Next slide. Now, what I mean to say uh, that everything needs uh, uh, water on Earth. Now, water uh, uh, for fish culture uh, cannot be just continued as such. So uh, water from culture pond or culture tank has to be utilized for the production of a crop of plants. And since um, a large share of water is to be required for many other purposes, we need to save water and uh, we, have to, uh, we, we have to save the water uh, through uh, this. And the next one, please. Next slide, please. I have. Now, uh, uh, what I mean to say, the water saving uh, has to be done or else um, it is very difficult to, uh, to sustain. Now, the same water has to be uh, reused and recycled. And this aquaponic system uh, does it through reuse and recycling of water, both for the production of uh, 
of uh, fish as well as certain crops. Now, with uh, this is all about this uh, aquaponic system. And in case uh, the participants wish to ask any question, uh, I'll be happy to uh, answer them. Any question? Uh, uh, I will I will request uh, um, uh, Utkarsha Madam to show the uh, show one slide, particularly the uh, practicing aquaponics slide. Can you uh, can you please show the tenth slide? Is it possible to show the tenth slide again? Yes, just a second, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is the slide that you can see. This is the, this is the, in fact, uh, this is the functional aquaponic system. You can see the fish is reared and the mm, uh, fish is provided with uh, oxygen from external sources also. And feed is provided. And then the water is pumped out containing nitrate, phosphate, and potassium, and is utilized for the production of a uh, crop. And these plants absorb the nitrates, grow there, while the roots clean the water for the fish to reuse. So this way, this cycle continues, and this is, in fact, the functional aquaponic system. This, this is what I wanted to mean. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Any questions, so much, please, sir? Now, yeah. Question from our participants, sir. Uh, sir, why fish is grown not with any other aquatic organisms? Okay. Hello. Why we only use fish? Hello. No, no. Yes, uh, you are, your your point is very valid. There are uh, there are hundreds of aquatic organisms which can be utilized. Uh, you are right, but I have chosen fish in the sense fish uh, fish releases ammonia, and by the bacterial action, ammonia is uh, getting converted into nitrate and uh, fertilizer. So this nitrate is can be conveniently utilized by the plants. So this uh, property of uh, excret excretory habit of fish releasing ammonia into the ambient water, which can be conveniently converted into nitrate, is a system that can uh, be utilized easily by the plants for its growth purposes. Um, in, in, in place of um, fish, you can utilize the prawn, you can utilize the shrimp, you can utilize crabs, you can make many other things, but I have uh, used uh, fish here, but uh, other aquatic uh, organisms, freshwater organisms can definitely be utilized. Means freshwater prawn, freshwater crab, uh, like that. Freshwater mussels. And sir, uh, which group of plants are majorly raised in the aquaponics, sir? Yeah, uh, I tell you, uh, the plants are mainly lettuce, uh, coriander leaves, then uh, um, uh, spinach, then water spinach, then uh, there are mostly leafy vegetables. This can grow very well. Uh, dhania, dhania pata, these uh, uh, pudina, these mint leaves, these grow excellently well. So, pudina, 
धनिया धनिया पत्ता इसमें कोरिएंडर लीव्स देन सर्टेन आई मीन एक्वाटिक प्लांट्स व्हिच आर यूटिलाइज्ड हियर एज यू नो शाक वी कॉल इट शाक इन बंगाल सो देयर आर मेनी प्लांट्स लाइक शोशुनी दीज आर लोकल नेम्स ऑफ कोर्स but um, um, spinach or the palak palak uh, dhaniya uh, lettuce uh, even even the uh, carrot can be the carrot can be grown also very well so but definitely not all plants not all yeah. plants and uh, what are the sir major areas where aquaponics can be applied sir See where where there is acute water shortage, uh, where water uh, recycling should be should be utilized for production of some some food sources. Because in many parts of the country, now we are find finding that fresh water is becoming a scarce resource, particularly during this period this time of the year. Now at this time of the year. uh water has to be recycled water has to be recycled and reused for human food production system even you know i should say not only human food production system even even if we can use it for some fodder production system that also helps our domestic animals so that way it can be uh, utilized particularly where uh, fresh water uh, shortage is there Uh, along with it sir is it a necessary to provide any supplementary nutrient medium for the growth of these plants sir yes you know uh, for these plants uh, i don't think so because we have been experimenting it in the in the in the lab for plants we have not giving but for fish we are giving but this is again uh, pumped out to the plant unit and these are uh, unutilized fish feed sources fish excreta and the bacteria converted nitrites nitrates these all are utilized by the uh, plants as manures so that way plants do not have to be provided additional manure for their growth and uh... in how many days sir we have to change the water in aquaponics sir no you, know, you don't have no to change the only thing because of uh, evaporation because of handling there will be some some uh, i mean uh, some water shortages in the tanks so every week you know you have to uh, replenish little water that's all because yes, there will be naturally what some evaporation okay, and uh, what is the amount of uh, fishes that can be grown in a hydroponic unit sir and is yeah. Now, it, yeah you are very right a very, very important question now it all depends on the area for example if you have a please remember uh, for each fish you have to provide about 5 liter of water now if the capacity of the tank is say 150 liter which means you can safely grow 50 fishes now if the 50 fishes grow and if these 50 fishes continuously uh, are uh, these are partially harvested say every week 10 10 fishes are harvested and 10 fishes are replenished so this is in fact a continuous a uh, continuous harvesting and stocking of the fishes so these 50 fishes will always be there sometimes 10 8 8 to 10 fishes may be taken out for uh, personal consumption or for giving it to someone but then the moment you are taking it out it has to be replenished and this again fish will grow so remember um, um see a uh, 5 liter of water uh, should be provided for each fish on an average since these are small fishes these are not very big fishes so 5 liter is adequate and 
sir uh, is there any adverse effects of the aquaphonics sir uh, adverse effects yes yeah, the in, in the advantage disadvantages is the initial expenditure is little high because you have to you have to uh, fabricate these systems you have to buy a pump uh, so initial investment may be little more but there is no recurring expenses that's that's that that is the beauty so initial expenditure though little high but recurring expenses is almost non existent hello hello ah any yes, any other sir one more question sir please uh, one more last question sir uh, sir please. how do we maintain the nutrition content and the taste of the fish since the as we know that the farm raised fish tends to have uh, less taste yeah now uh, um, formulated feeds either industrially manufactured that is available in the market or or um, uh, i mean um, uh, farm made feed feed has to be provided feed has to be provided to the fish and not only the feed you know i have i have shown you some uh, some natural food uh, or food organisms Uh, will uh, will automatically grow there and when we provide the um, artificial feed these also serve serve as a, as a nutrients for them they will also take a part of these and they will grow so there will be continuously some uh, some uh, natural food as well as ex- exogenous uh, feed that we are applying so this combination will uh, will uh, uh, meet the nutritional requirement of the fishes that are being maintained in the aquarium thank you sir uh, okay thank you so much sir these all were the questions and queries from our dear participants and uh, we are highly glad and blessed to have you here on the virtual podium of uh, just agriculture magazine uh thank you so much for sharing your vast knowledge on the uh, aquaphonics once again thank you sir now thank participants you. taking the uh, today's session to the another level i would like to invite rishi to please okay. take over the session for the second speaker thank you Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Rishi, I came to know that our next speaker is not available today. Uh, yes, Doctor Piyush, I got the message. So, uh, since uh, the guest is not available, uh, first of all, a very good evening to everyone. And uh, since our, our guest is not available, so we will have to end up the session right here. and uh, apologies for the inconvenience so uh, so i would like to thank everyone uh, for your uh, calm, uh, uh, patience and uh, calm uh, we will have to end up the session so uh, thank you so much